Hi, we're the OPAT Transitional Care Team at Parkland Hospital. In this video, we're going to go over how to give your IV antibiotics at home using the slow IV push method. To begin, it is very important to have a clean surface to put your supplies and IV medicine on. Choose a place that you can easily clean and that is free from clutter. Clean this area well using soap and water. The next step is one of the most important steps in the process, hand washing. Wash your hands with soap and water, making sure that you wash for at least 15 seconds. After washing, dry your hands with a clean paper or bath towel. Then, place down a fresh paper or cloth towel. Now, lay out all of your supplies and medicines on the clean surface. Before starting to give your antibiotic, put on your disposable gloves. Next, carefully look at the label on your IV antibiotic syringe to make sure that it is your medicine. Look to see that it has your name. Next, check that it is not expired. Look for the expiration date. And finally, check and see that it is the correct medicine that was ordered by your provider. Unwrap all four of the saline flush syringes from their plastic wrappers. Now, prepare all four saline flushes by loosening the cap on each saline flush and gently pushing the plunger to remove any air bubbles. Take the end of your pick line extension and clean it with alcohol for at least 15 seconds. Always be careful not to touch the end of your pick line extension or the tips of any of the syringes. Now, push and twist a saline flush onto your pick line extension until it is tight. Do not let it go until it feels tight. Next, push the saline through the pick line extension in a pulsating manner starting and stopping over and over. This will make sure the line is open and the saline flows easily. You will need to use two saline flushes before giving your antibiotic. If the saline does not flow smoothly or you cannot push the saline through the line, stop and call the OPAT clinic. Next, take the saline flush syringe off the pick line extension by untwisting it. Then, twist the IV antibiotic syringe onto the pick line extension. Now, get a watch, clock, or timer and review the amount of time shown on the IV antibiotic syringe instructions. You will slowly push your IV antibiotic into your pick line extension over the number of minutes shown on your instructions. After you've finished pushing all the antibiotic from the syringe through your pick line extension, take your IV antibiotic syringe off your pick line by untwisting it. Remember, be careful not to touch the tip of your pick line extension or any of the syringes to anything. Now, repeat the saline flush procedure using two saline flushes as you did before to make sure that all of the medicine is flushed through the pick line. If you were given a log sheet to write down your infusions, make sure to write down each time your medicine is given. Be sure to give your medicine around the same time every day to make sure you don't miss any doses. Come to your appointment at the OPAT clinic every week to have your pick line dressing changed, your blood drawn, and to pick up your IV antibiotic syringe refills at the Parkland Pharmacy. If you have any questions, please call the OPAT clinic at 214-590-2297.